Hi there, what's cracking? Welcome to my tutorial series on learning Cypress plus Cucumber. In this video, we're going to move on to the next feature, completing a to-do. Let's move it over to in progress. Now, what does it mean to complete a to-do? Let's start up the to-do MBC application and we will go over to localhost 4200. If we add a test to do, we can see that it's not yet completed and we have one item left. And when we click on this toggle box, it turns into a check mark, crosses out the to do, and we have zero items left. So let's write our test for this. We'll go over to the Cypress integration folder, add a new file called complete a to do feature. And we'll define that feature as completed to do. And in there we have a scenario, also completed to do. And let's walk through the steps for this scenario. So given I have the following to do's. So we're going to start with a to do. And the to do is going to have a title of a test to do to do. And it's going to be in the incomplete state. And we're going to navigate to the home page, and the home page has loaded. So the action that we're going to take is when I complete, and we're going to pass in the title test to do. So when I when I complete a test to do, then I see see the following to do so now we're going to add in the state that will exist after completing the to do so the title is not going to change it's still going to be a test to do but the completed property is going to change to true and additionally we're going to see that we have zero items left so and i see that i have zero items left. So we'll save that. We can see that VS Code is telling me that uh, we don't have a step definition for uh, I complete a test to do. So we need to go and define that. So we create a folder inside the integration folder and we call it the same name as our feature file, complete a to do. And inside that folder, if we look at the previous folders that we had, say, for example, add a to do. I've been naming those files steps.js. So we're going to start to define these a bit more granularly with a bit more granularity. Um, so we're going to create a file inside completed to do, and it's going to be named when I complete, and we're going to pass a string in. So when I complete string, JS. So we'll go into that file and we'll implement that file. So when, whoop, wheel event, when I complete string, and so the title is going to be the string that's passed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Cypress, Cypress. to get the element in the to-do list, list item, view class label. And we're going to find the one that contains the title that we've passed in. Now, if we inspect the to-do list here, we can see the label, a test to-do, but we actually want to go up here to this input class toggle and we want to click on that. That's what, um, that's what completing a to-do to actually is. So in order to do this, we need to go up to the div class view and then back down into the class toggle. And the way we do that in Cypress is called parent. That will take us up one. And then we can call find. So find the element with the class toggle, 
and we want to click on that element. So we call click. So sci.get to-do list, list item, view, label, find the label that contains the title that we've passed in, go up to its parent, find within that parent the toggle class, and click on it. So let's see what happens when we run these tests. npm run sci open. And we'll click on complete a to do, see what happens. Found an error preparing this test file. Cannot find module source map support. Close that. Let's see what has happened here. So, what's happened is VS Code has auto imported file for me, which I don't want. So, let's try again. Step implementation missing for I have the following to do. So, what's happening here? I have the following to do's. Look through our folders, home page. Given I have the following to do, so that's inside the home page folder. And because we need to access it in the home page feature and in the completed to do feature, we need to move it into the common folder. So in common, let's make a new file called given I have the following to do's.js. And we will. Grab everything here, and we'll put it into that file will now be shared across our tests. Let's run them again. Need to close this. Start it up again. Okay, and the test passes. So that's great. Or is it? What happens if I go into when I complete string and I actually just comment this code out? The test still passes, except for the zero item left. We still see one item left here. This item here is still correct, it's still passing this line. And that's because we're not actually checking to see whether the item is completed yet. So we need to go to the, I see the following to do's. Uh, we'll leave this commented out for the moment. So I see the following to do's, that's inside the common folder. So let's grab that. We're gonna take it out of this file for now and we'll make a new file. Um, then I see the following to do's.js. We'll put it in here. And so what we can see is that inside this file, we're not actually checking to see if this to do that we're looking at is actually completed or not completed. So we need to um, make this a bit more robust. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to destructure the title and the completed value from the to do item. And what we need to do is we need to adjust this part of this selector here so that it searches only for the item that is either completed or not completed. So we'll change to do zero to title. So we'll change this list item section right here. We'll define that list item, and it's gonna be different based on this completed value. So if the completed value is string true, then we're gonna look for the list item that is dot completed. And if we have a look over on uh, in the browser, we can see list item class completed when it's got a t uh, when the item is completed, and when we uncomplete that item, the list item has no class on it. So the the opposite to this is where the list item is not. We'll use the colon not CSS uh, pseudo selector not dot uh, completed. So the list item doesn't have 
the class dot equal sign here. Okay, and then we need to replace this with a template literal. And we'll substitute that value in there. Save. Go back to our tests. Let's stop them just in case it's to reload. Let's run that test again, and we should see that it fails this time. So it's failing right here. It's looking for a to do list item where a list item is completed. View label contains test to do. So it's failed here at the correct spot that we expected. And that's because, as we remember, I commented out this. Drop that back in. We can see that it runs and passes all the steps. Let's close that and let's double check uh, that. We'll run all the specs to make sure all of our tests are still passing. And so we move some files around and change the way that they worked. Add a to do passed, complete a to do passed. Home page passed both scenarios inside there. So that's it for today's episode of Learning Cypress plus Cucumber. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the description uh, in the comment section below. If you need any of the links from today's episode, they'll be in, de in the description below. Also, if you're interested, I live stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash daneharnett doing all sorts of web development kind of stuff. So if you have any questions and want to chat to me live, we can do that there. Also, you can tweet at me at twitter.com slash Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.